when you look at animals, certain features just stand out, right? Like the long neck on a giraffe, a lion's mane, or an armadillo's shell. These special features help animals survive and produce offspring. They're called adaptations. The word adaptation comes from adapt, which means to adjust or modify something to help it in a certain situation or to help it do something better. These turtles have webbed feet. That's an adaptation for swimming. Tortoises live on land. They have stumpy feet. That's an adaptation for walking. Now you might put on some flippers when you want to go swimming or some sneakers when you go for a walk. Is that an adaptation? No, because you weren't born with those. You went out and found those flippers or those shoes. Living things are either born with their adaptations or they develop as they grow up. Adaptations are genetic traits. That means they are inherited from the parents and can be passed on to the offspring. Many adaptations help animals eat. Bobcats have got sharp teeth for cutting and eating meat, right? Deer have flatter teeth with ridges to help them grind up those leaves and grasses. Adaptations are not usually new things or inventions. They're just enhancements or modifications of things that lots of animals have. Some adaptations equip a living thing to live in a certain place. Jackrabbits live where it's super hot, so they've got supersized ears, and that's an adaptation that helps them cool off. An arctic fox lives where it's really, really cold, so it has thick fur as an adaptation to keep it warm. Adaptations can also be behaviors that are inherited, or what you might call instincts. Pooping cranes spend the summer way up north, but when it gets cold in the fall, they follow their instincts and migrate south to places that aren't so cold and dangerous. Some adaptations are for defense. Porcupines have prickly hairs called quills. That's an adaptation to defend themselves. A turtle has a bony shell to protect itself. Now, adaptations can vary between members of the same species. And sometimes an individual has an especially good adaptation that gives it an advantage. Suppose a turtle has an extra thick shell. That might allow it to survive better and to produce offspring, right? And it's gonna have a better chance of passing that trait on to its offspring. Super important. And there are those adaptations that are really just there to help them attract a mate and produce offspring. Check out these prairie chickens. They've got these bright throat pouches that they inflate and these crazy ear flappy doodles that they wiggle around. All that actually helps them attract a mate, believe it or not. Now it might sound silly, but remember producing offspring is a super important stage in an animal's life cycle. And it's what allows that species to survive into the future, right? Are you ready to try spotting some adaptations for yourself? All right, let's go. Check out this hummingbird. What adaptations does it have? It's got a long skinny beak for reaching deep into that flower to get the nectar that it eats. What adaptation does this stick bug have? It looks like a stick, right? Most animals walk right by and they never even see it. Alligators have lots of adaptations for helping them live in the shallow waters of wetlands. Can you spot a few of those adaptations? They've got eyes up on top of their head. On the tip of their snout, that bump is where their nostrils are. They breathe air, so that allows them to breathe while most of their body is underwater. Their tail is flattened from side to side to help them swim. Do plants have adaptations? You bet they do. What does this cactus have to help it survive in the desert? Remember, adaptations are special features. They usually help an animal eat or not get eaten, live in a particular place, or move in a particular way. Some of them are just special ways to attract a mate and produce offspring. And very important, they are genetic traits. They are inherited from their parents and they can be passed on to their young. They're not things that animals learn or get during their lifetime. If you wanna be an animal expert, 
start with really understanding adaptations. If you're confused, ask me a question, or if there's more you want to know, send me a comment and I might do your word next on Speaking Scientifically. Speaking Scientifically. Speaking Scientifically.